Let's do a convoy. Yeah, let's actually do a convoy. I think that would be a little bit better. Hello to everybody watching my stream. Thanks for watching it. This is my 5,000 subscriber stream of Doom. I'll be streaming this game with Effing Controller, who also has streaming a stream. And that's all I have to say about that. Hello, Racecraft. Indeed, this is Tailmage's 5,000 subscriber special. How did uh, you get there? What's your What's your secret to success, Tailmage? Uh. Flight Sims. I think that's Flight Sims. Yeah, I think that's where most of my viewers. I'm not sure if I get five thousand Silent Hunter subscribers. I don't know. I think you get it from your overall very congenial personality and um, your your uh, winning ways. Thank you. How many are you at right now? Let's get you up to the magic. Uh, I think I'm at four. Thousand two hundred and some. You're almost there, then. I'll make it one of these days. Yeah. Somebody asked if we can play in a Type Twenty One. We can. Um, I don't know about that. Maybe later. Maybe maybe that's what we should actually do our um, duel oh. in. Yeah. It's Type Twenty Ones. I think that would be good. All right. Um, should go with a big fish. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, I like that. I do have less than 15 million subscribers. I am not PewDiePie. Mm. In so many ways, I'm not PewDiePie. <laughs> I'm not a handsome Swede. With a puerile sense of humor. Well, you do have a kind of puerile. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of juvenile, kind of embarrassing. But then we could be just be jealous, I guess. Of course not. All right. Uh, I don't remember what the range I set to them was, but uh, we'll find out. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't list it in the loading screen, but we'll find out. I just deployed decoys accidentally. <laughs> I don't have them though, so we're good. Okay. Ooh, it's foggy. Oh. Not again. Yeah, you so got. I guess I'll note that um, don't turn on the precipitations at all. Because if you. That was supposed to be light rain, I think. But this is pathetic. This is. No way we're going to be able to detect anything. Have a listen to the whole the uh, old hydromophone. Yep. They are coming in at about well, probably dead ahead of you. Yeah. Hello, Merton Nor. I remember you. When am I going to play Super Meat Boy again? I don't know. I used to famous do... for his Super Meat Boy playthroughs. Well, I, I did used to when I didn't do YouTube videos, but I did um, streaming instead. Oh, that's right. You got your start streaming. Yeah. I forgot about that. And I played a lot of Super Meat Boy. Managed to complete no, I've it. Never played it. I've never played it at all. It was pretty pretty fun. Quite addictive. Fluid controls. Yeah. That's that's mostly what I hear is that the, the mechanics are just very crisp. Like a delicious Apple. Yeah. 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 Apple. A bloody red apple. Contact. Fucking apple! Man, I want an apple. I thought I, I was... got a question. Yeah. How, how, how did you settle on your name? I have no idea where your name comes from, other than, you know, the literal. I guess. I, I don't know. I think I thought of it when I was a youth. 
for some reason. Maybe some kind of obscure Monty Python reference, but I can't remember. So, uh, I don't know, honestly. Just, it, it, you didn't choose it, it chose you. I guess, yes. It's a bit of a disgusting name, really, when you think about it. That's alright, though. Better to have a disgusting name than to be a disgusting person. I suppose. I'm gonna try to 315. Uh, this is a convoy. And I don't have the means to do it because this doesn't have a chronometer built in, does it? Nope. Nope. I don't know what that. Okay. Didn't you do it when we did our test run? I, I used my cell phone. Oh. <laughs> I don't have it with me right now. You could I don't use want to the all one. Could use the one on the um, periscope, and then you have to go oh, back there and is forth. One on the periscope. Okay, I'll just do that then. Uh, let's see. I'll... Contact. 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 Here. Contact. Oh yeah, that's right. Contact. Whoa, hello. Yeah, you know, I call it a chronometer. Um, it's a watch. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be moving. I think they're moving north, northwest. Uh, east, sorry. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, Party Commissar, I don't think that Hans is on the crew. Yeah. Cause I, had, I didn't get a yeah or anything like that. Me neither. We left Hans at port. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we did. We could we could do our own yas. Okay. Taking your response to mean that you will let me do my own yeah. <laughs> I'll do a yeah, I don't mind. You'll do a yeah? Yeah, when the time comes. Now, obviously we don't have time compression. Yeah, we have to be very patient. We can't compress each other's times. If I could turn back time. If I could compress time. That's a great song. If I could. 315. Oh, I'm 315 right now. Baby. You don't need to sing a song about that. Okay. But you can. Uh, nah, I've gone off the idea. Sing me a song, Tailmage. Just one time. What kind of song? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what's your favorite song? How about how about we'll we'll turn it into an interview? <sighs> favorite song. Um, favorite song. I don't know. That's kind of tough. Um, I'm gonna say at this moment, won't get fooled again by the Who. If I can. Amazing. Biting at the beat. Something in my heat. Do 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 It's a cover. You can have covers. Yes. Can I do the, can I do the yeah? Well, I guess that would be uh, Hans's job. Contact. What, just saying yeah? 
No, the, the famous... Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah! Yeah! Fifons gets fooled again! Meet the old boss? Same as the old boss. Fira, surely? Oh, shit. Missed opportunities. Yeah. Abounding. So I have 315 them. They are going seven knots, according to my just excellent measurements. Okay. And you are correct on their their attitude. Is that what that is? They've got a bad attitude. Give them an attitude adjustment. So what's your favorite song? Um, I have been listening to a lot of 80s, uh, tr like, training montage songs. <laughs> right. So, like, some of the stuff from Rocky, some of the stuff from Bloodsport. Yeah. Um, just, you know, musically, really shitty songs. But, um, I, I don't know. I, I There's no accounting for taste. So, you're the best around... That kind of There's stuff. one. There's one. Uh, the Rocky IV soundtrack is really one of the finest um, in musical history. Okay. <laughs> it's very polite, you know? <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Okay. Yep. <laughs> That's the thing you said. <laughs> it sure is. Everyone's entitled to opinion, even if they're wrong. I just heard the song Put a Donk on It. By? Which comes from your mighty nation. Um, oh, what the fuck? Is, it's a stupid name. Um, damn it, I can't remember. But they uh, hail from the mighty United Kingdom. Put a donk on it? Put a donk on it. It doesn't sound like a kind of British thing to be saying. Oh, it... it I assure you. <laughs> what genre was this? Blackout Crew, thank you. That's the name of the... Oh, it's... Um, what would it, the genre be? Um, shit rap. Shit rap. <laughs> Just shit. Just something you would wrap your shit in. Right, okay. <laughs> it's the worst. It's mostly... Yeah. Somebody saying chav. For the genre. Oh, I okay. I know that that's a thing, and I don't know if that's how you say it. Yeah. Chavs. Well, chavs are kind of types of people. Right. So... Right, so I'm thinking that he's saying that it's the type of music that a chav would listen to. I see. Okay. To which a chav would listen. I don't get much musical exposure. I, I tend to end up listening to whatever my colleagues at work... Um, listen to and they have pretty mainstream tastes so I've been hearing a lot of Adele and mm. boy howdy that's not good for my health no she's got an amazing voice but I just don't care for her music it's just not for me me neither I mean I don't really listen to mainstream music I, mean, I don't really watch TV or listen to the radio or anything like that so um, generally I just end up Getting drunk and listening to Frank Zappa records for some reason. There you go. There's worse ways to spend a Friday night. Yep. I was reading a fascinating article about how um, most of like America's number one hits are written by like these four Scandinavian guys. Right. It's just these these forty year old Scandinavians that. Uh, just pump out the hits. Yeah, no, not ABBA Dwarf. It's not ABBA, yeah. But they do use ABBA as a model for their songwriting. Yeah. Because ABBA was, of course... Is ABBA still the the most um, highest-selling band in history? Um, are we talking about the entire catalogue? Or, or, I wouldn't have thought ABBA would be the highest... 
can can I'm check. I'm already getting pinged, by the way. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> I think I just uh, got a little too close. Yeah, there's a destroyer that's about 400 meters away from me. I'd better dive. How did he? Well, he must have just heard me on hydrophone. The highest selling Hello. artists are the Beatles, of course. Is it me you're pinging for? I thought that I had read something that showed that they were actually more popular than the Beatles, but I don't know. Mm, followed by Garth Brooks. Fuck off, really? That's what it says. Garth Brooks? Yeah. Garth Brooks? 136 million. I want to drown sold. myself in feces after hearing that. Garth and Brooks? Is that that country guy? Yeah. And then Elvis the is after most, him. Like highest selling. I don't want to speed up right now. I'm having a very important discussion. I'll <laughs> speed up. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> That's not looking good. Oh god. Thanks for playing. We're fine. Nope. We took a little damage. Oh, yeah. Wow, oh, yeah. that's a We're, steep dive. There's the damage. There's the damage. And we're good. You're dead? Nope, I'm fine. Oh, good. Okay, good. I, I took no appreciable damage. My radio is damaged. But no hull damage. Oh, okay. I'm being pinged. Silent running. So they're going to be uh, zigzagging, so my speed reading is meaningless now. You know, it's not to say that I don't like country music. I love Johnny Cash. I love uh, Willie Nelson. You like Willie Nelson, Tailmage? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not too, too into uh, country, but um, Johnny Cash and... Some of uh, Dylan's kind of yeah, he's got some. He did that whole country album, didn't he? Uh, he did a few at the start of the seventies, late sixties, seventies, like Nashville Skyline. And I'm gonna have to crash dive here. Ah! Oh yeah, your hole is in your ass. Ow! <laughs> oh oh shit! Did I see what happened? <laughs> Oh, this sunk good. Oh, that'll buff out. Oh, shit. Oh, my friend. Uh, I've got 36% hull left. I got hit on the, the head. Stay low. Trying to get into the convoy. Yeah. Do I have. Yeah, the Rocky Four soundtrack, I think, reminds a lot of people. Because it was one of the best uh, sets of music ever assembled. Cultural uh, milestone. I've released the decoy. Like um, yes, it did. And I've got a decoy going, so hopefully that might put them off the scent. Is there is there a song that you are embarrassed to admit that you like? Um. Well, not really. I mean, with some of my friends, I suppose, um, liking Queen would be a bit of an embarrassing thing. Really? Yeah. Huh. They're, Just because they're too arena rocky, or...? Yeah, they're more kind of seen as being pop rock, I guess. Yeah. And not really serious artists. Oh man, they have some great songs, though. Exactly. Just objectively good. I don't. I don't. 
not they everything. Reconcile. Somebody in my chat admitted that they uh, like Barbie Girl. Okay. By Aqua, I believe. Hiya, Bobby. Hi, Ken. You want to go for a ride? Sure. That's it. That's all the more that we're doing. That's Euro it. pop. Um, what are we gonna do here? Yeah, this is kind of getting kind of fucky. Um, <laughs> good adjective. What the fuck? Do I like Kiss? No, not really. I don't really know much by them. I don't really like Kiss that well myself. But uh, I think they're definitely more. I don't think they're ever really that popular in the UK. That destroyer is right on top of me. I don't know why he's not killing me. The fact that I can't see him on the surface, though, is pretty indicative of the conditions here. Oh, maybe he's not right on top of us. Where'd he go? Huh. It is a mystery. Yeah, I don't see anything near you. Somebody's asking me about the uh, Silent Hunter 4 mod for a World War One campaign, and uh, I've heard of it. I don't know much about it. I've heard of it, but I think it's just been in development for like ever yeah. since I've heard about it, which has been like years, two or three years. So I don't know at what stage they're at, but it's got its own thread and subsim. Have you ever played Shells of Fury? I no, I don't know what that is. Do you know what that is? I've never heard of it. I'm assuming it's something to do with tanks. Either that or it's uh, some kind of... gastropod fight simulator. Shells of Fury. Oh, it's a U-boat game. Seems like a weird title for a U-boat game. <laughs> yeah. It got 3.6 out of 5 from Gamersgate. But it looks like it's just, uh, uh, set in um, World War One. Huh. I'm going to learn more about this. was an old game that I used to play on my Mac called, uh, I think it was just called Wolfpack. I'd like to fire that up and see how it plays. I'm watching the destroyer on your screen right now. Is that attacking me? <laughs> oh yeah, it's attacking me. Oh it's yes. far off though. No, that's, that's attacking me. Oh no. Oh shit. I'm going to try to get it up to uh, torpedo depth and lob a few shots. Whoa! Whoa! Men down on the deck? Why are there men on the deck? Oh my god! <laughs> what? I think um, the stock game is a little bit... That's a bit of bullshit right there. <laughs> yeah, that was nowhere near me. I think it seems to be a lot easier for destroyers to kill you in stock game compared to the modded versions. Because they only seem to be able to get the, um, you know, the 100 meters and then everyone's dead. You've got a merchant. Oh yeah, no, I have uh, Someone intentionally. It's got tanks. Got tanks on that there ship? Yep. Well, golly! I tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on the surface. Well, not on the surface. I'm gonna go periscope depth. I'm gonna shoot me some tanks. 
I'm not gonna surface. <laughs> just relax. Just relax. I said surface, and oh my, I might end up surfacing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. <laughs> it could be okay. Uh, I think I'm just barely gonna be okay. Yep. Nice. Put the brakes on just in time. Oh, hello. There's a cargo ship. That's the one I think that you were looking at earlier. There's one with the, the tanks on it. I can just make it out. You've got two of them. One in front and one behind. And they're giving me all the depths again. One directly in front of me too. I can identify him, and then maybe I can launch an attack on him. It's a C two. He's extremely close. I think that my torpedoes won't arm, but. Yeah. But then there should be one in the same row as him. But I don't know how you would aim right. around it. I wouldn't be able to. You know what? I think he is in arming distance. We're going to give it a try. Just the one? Just the one for now. I don't want to do any good money after bad. And yeah, you... Yeah, my speed was off. Yeah. You missed the point blank range. Yep. It happens. Oh, I had a range reading that was all screwed up. Uh -huh. Is this like how you have to double tap it or something? I know that for AOB you have to do that sometimes. I think they know I'm here. Yeah, so you have to double tap the range in. Oh, okay. Oh, your torpedo exploded in the middle of... Yeah. Uh... Oh, it would have hit all the ship. That's a, that's a shame. Dwarf is saying he's just carrying on like nothing happened. All right, fantastic. Well, that's a pretty hefty boat, I suppose, or ship. Yeah, I should have launched two probably. Dwarf said to me, "I think you've got a traitor that is leaving them a trail of breadcrumbs through the toilet." What? So I, I guess, I don't know. What? How do you think the toilets work in the U-boat? Does it eject it? That's a great question. I've wondered that myself. Um, yeah, I mean, you gotta use the compressed air, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Like, how else is that gonna work? Yeah, but could you do that at depth? Or would you have to wait until you're on the oh, surface yeah. and... Oh, that's way off. What am I doing? Oh, wait, is it still turning? What an idiot. What a terrible shot. What a disgrace. I'm looking right down your periscope. Gross. So intimate. They eject it with the air. Okay. With the air? How do you eject poop with air? Or, all well, with the air. Okay, I got it. Through use of air. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to attack this one guy and then maybe we'll. Call it. Oh, don't lower your scope. Well, fine. If it makes you happy, I'll leave my scope up. Thanks. That 
one might deflect because he's turning. Nope. Oh, I hit something else. Ah. Oh, that was a tanker that I hit. Oh, shit. Nice. Oh. Yeah. You might want to look behind you on the scope. Why is that? Oh, hello. <laughs> oh. oh. Collision. Did he, did he really? Come on. Jesus. Cheese and crackers. I was hoping that it would uh, snap your scope off. Oh, well, that's nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you. You little bastard, you. Um, <laughs> what are you. That's my evil laugh. Hey, alright, I sank another one, too. Well, I think that that's enough. You spit this guy in that twain. Other one is. Yeah, Mark Twain. Yeah, I planned that shot on the tanker. That was... I knew that that was over there, and I was just doing an Annie Oakley-style trick shot. Right. Pretty much. So I'm... MLG Silent Hunter 3. <laughs> All right. 360 no-scope. Yep. We're returning to base. Good job. GG. Why doesn't it show the names of the ships? Didn't it do that before? It did the first time, but then it didn't it's do... It's kind of a nice touch. I liked it.